The first to bring you the hottest DJ gear on the planet. We are AGIProDJ.com. Hey everybody, it's DJ Ty from AGIProDJ.com. Today we're bringing you another video in the series on the brand new Denon SC3900. What we're going to cover today is how they use their engine music management software, which runs on a PC or a Mac, and how they use that software to prepare your music uh, for the ability to play off of a USB thumb drive, a USB hard drive, and then their connectivity with an iPad, which is kind of amazing. So let's go ahead and just cover how it works on the player first. What I've got uh, inside of the, the player right now into the USB port is a, a drive that I prepared a couple tracks on and built a couple of playlists with the engine software. So you press USB, back, and it gives you the ability to sort by album, artist, BPM, genre, and title. So I'm just going to title. You can see my tracks are there. I can go back. I also created two playlists, and obviously if you had set up an entire one gigabyte drive, you would have more than two playlists, but I've got two set up. So I'm going to AGI Pro DJ Demo. There's my two tracks. I can go back, go into playlist, choose playlist number two. So from these playlists, I can select a track start playing it right away. While it's playing, I can go back, I can look at my playlist, I can get my next track ready. I can also browse this drive from the other player if they're linked together. Uh, it's pretty incredible. But what we're about to show you is, it's pretty slick. Uh, so what they have is Engine is also available for iOS, and I've got it installed here on an iPad one, so the requirements are not huge, it doesn't require the latest and greatest iPad. Um, but DJ says, if you're looking at this and the 3900 uh, interests you, you're gonna, if you don't own an iPad, you're going to end up getting one because this is very cool. So what I've got here is the Engine version 1.0. This is on my Wi-Fi network. The player is connected uh, to the house network by Ethernet. So they are on the same network. They would have to be on the same network if you're playing out. Very easy to do if you just pick up a really cheap router. You plug everything into it, and it all sits on its own little network. I press Connect. It says Connecting. Over here on the player, it says iPad Connect Request. And I've set it up for Ty Buchanan. I choose OK, press Enter. And there's my engine software. So what I've got are my playlists. I've got a track loaded that's actually telling me what track is already on the deck. If I press play, it shows me that the track is playing. I can't load anything onto this track or onto that deck. It says locked, so it's not going to let you accidentally load a track on. But as soon as I stop it, it's unlocked. I can press load. It's not just one to read. I mean, it's... As you can see here, the software supports up to four players on the same network. You can change it so only two are visible. Um, so here's my playlist. Let's say there's something that's on my drive that's not in a playlist. Oh, there's something in the root of the drive. I don't have this on a playlist yet. So I can select it. It's going to come up. And I can either load it onto my deck, or let's say I'm not ready to play it yet. I can say add to hot list. So we press add to hot list. You go up here to hot list. And you can load this up. Think of this, you know, old school guys that are playing on vinyl still. Think of this as, you know, pulling the vinyl out of your crate, setting it sideways. This is what I'm going to play. This is what I'm going to play later. Uh, other DVS software has the prepare decks, so you can load stuff into that prepare folder so it's ready to go on deck. That's the exact same thing as the hot list is. So this is that integration with the iPad. So that's uh, just a little bit of a touch on USB drives, uh, external hard drive connectivity, iPad connectivity, which is totally amazing. And again, that's, that's version 1.0.0, so definitely look for that software to evolve in the future. But uh, way to go, Denon, for actually integrating an iPad into the DJ experience. But it's interactive with your music that's already loaded on your player. So no computer required. I've got the ability to use the iPad to browse through my music to give me that, that tactile uh, interface where I can search for tracks like I would on a computer. I can set up playlists. I can move tracks around. I can load from an iOS device and not have to have uh, you know a three thousand dollar computer with me. So excellent job, Denon. Way to integrate the iPad in with the engine software. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of our videos if you're interested in the Denon SC3900. 
Make sure you visit our website, agiprodj.com. You can hit us up at sales at agiprodj.com. Toll free, 866-776-6499, or you can always instant message us during business hours on the website, or you can leave us a message offline. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching. Denon SC3900, way to go, guys. I'm DJ Ty from agiprodj.com.